Hey, if you're not subscribed and you like these delicious recipes, go ahead and hit subscribe so you won't miss out on any more tasty ideas. Today we're going to be making super amazing curry cauliflower casserole with tons of cheese. Sounds weird, but let me assure you it's packed with flavor and it's so good. So we're going to start by just breaking up our cauliflower florets a little bit. Rip out that center bit. And cut them down to size so we can toss them easily. That seems about the right size. Let's just speed it up a little bit. It's a lot to get through. We're going to make our flavoring mix, starting with some olive oil. It's probably about three tablespoons worth. Cumin. Two teaspoons. Coriander. Again, two teaspoons. And if you throw some on the ground or something, just put a little extra back in. Turmeric. Now be careful with this because it will stain everything. My cutting board is permanently stained now. And curry powder. Again, two teaspoons. A touch of salt. Give it a good old mix up. And we're just going to pour that and then toss it all over our beautiful cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you that this will stain your nails to look like some sort of weird drug addict for days. My sacrifice for your education. Pour this into a baking dish. 13 by nine is about right. And I'm gonna shred some cheese. We're using a Romano. I love the saltiness of that hard cheese, so good. And we're going to mix the Romano with some fresh mozzarella, which I'm going to rip up by hand after my accident where I got blood all over my pizza. Sorry if you saw that video. Add a little cracked pepper to our cheese mix. I feel like that just brings out more of the cheesy flavor. And this way we'll get savory from the hard cheese and we'll get gooey and stretchy from the soft mozzarella. Can you tell I like pepper? And red pepper flakes, because spicy is good. Oh, and garlic going off on this, okay. Mix all that delicious flavor together and then top all our cauliflower with it. Don't be afraid to be generous because it'll kind of disappear a little bit as it melts down through, but the flavor will be there. We're gonna bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes. Depends on your desired consistency of your roasted veg. You know, some people like it more crunchy, some people like it more soft. I'm gonna throw in some flatbreads, some pita, just on the rack under there too. About, you know, five minutes from us finishing, so it'll be nice and warm and soft. And that'll just be a nice way to kind of dip and wrap up individual bites. It's always nice to have a little carb on the side. Look at how beautiful that is. Steaming hot. And that color. That color is everything. Let's get ourselves out a nice serving here. Oh, it's juicy. Juicy and cheesy. And I love the little cheesy bits around the edge that get extra crispy. And that is insanely good but very hot. 
Well, I hope you guys like this recipe. I really hope you'll try it out for yourselves because it's fairly healthy, but insanely delicious. I'm starting to develop a real affinity for cauliflower here. It can do a lot with a lot of different flavors from a lot of different cultures. It's a beautiful vegetable. Thanks for watching, guys.